Welcome to the BCN 3D Cloud. In this video, you will learn all about the cloud functionalities and how to use them. On the dashboard, you will find a summary of your cloud, like how much storage you are using and how many printers are registered, a shortcut to your cloud analytics and a list of the more recent prints, the latest news from BCN 3D and helpful articles from the support team. On the top right, you can find the notification menu and direct links to the knowledge base where you will find detailed information, the community forum where you can find other users and ask any questions, and the support team contact form if you need help. Clicking on your account name will drop down a menu to access your account settings like the language and password and the sign out button. On the bottom right, you can also find our chatbot that will help you find the articles you need and can connect you directly with one of our technicians via the live chat functionality. Next, we will explain all the tabs found on the left column. On the Library tab, you can store all your files so you can access them from any device. You can create new folders and upload STL files and G-codes. On the left side, the Explorer column will be open at all times for easy navigation. And on the top side, you can see your current location with some icons that represent how many folders, designs like STL files and print files like G-codes are in this location. To create a folder, click on the New Folder button, type its name and click on Create. To upload STL or G-code files, you can either click on the Upload Files button or drag and drop them from your PC. On the top right, you will see a notification when a file is uploaded. After an STL file is uploaded, it will be analysed and a thumbnail will be generated. You can select one or multiple files or folders to move or delete them in batch. If you select multiple G-code files, you can directly add them to a printer or cluster queue. The STL files act as a folder in our cloud. This way you can organise all the G-codes that have been generated from this STL file easily. Clicking on the STL itself will give you a preview of the STL and all the generated G-codes that have been stored. You can directly send the G-codes to print or to a queue from this menu. Hovering over the information icon on a G-code allows you to see more details like the printing time and filament used. On the drop-down you have more options like adding a note, renaming it or checking its print history. On the Printer Manager tab, you can see the current state of all the printers in your cloud. Any printers that are currently offline will appear in this drop-down menu. You can enable the notifications that will show pop-ups, like for example when a print is done. On the left panel, you can monitor your printers and do actions like start a print, pause the current print or cancel a print. Clicking on a printer will show its queue and finish prints on the right side. You can reorganize the queue by dragging the files around or you can send one of them to the top spot. When starting the printing process, the file marked with next will be sent to the printer. On the finished prints, you can add notes, tags or send them back to the queue in case you want to print them again. You can also switch to the other view for a more visual summary in case you have a lot of printers. On the clusters tab, you can organize printers in groups that have something in common allowing you to create print queues for each cluster. One example of cluster usage is to group printers by their loaded material. This way, you will save time by skipping the unload and load filament process. To create a cluster, click on the Create Cluster button and name it. You can also add a longer description that will be shown on mouse over. Next, pick one or more printers for this cluster. Each printer can be in more than one cluster. Click on a cluster to go into that cluster's menu. On the left side, you can see a list of prints that have been added to the cluster and are pending to print. You can reorder the queue and add notes to the print jobs. On the Finish tab, you can find finished print jobs and return them to the queue if necessary. On the right side, you can find all the online printers that are available in this cluster and its current state. You can also add or remove printers to this cluster from the Manage Devices button. If a printer is ready to print, you can send the next file with the Print Next File button. On the Print History tab, you can see the history of all the files that have been printed on all the printers registered in this cloud. You can download a CSV file with all the entire print history. 
you can filter the results for a specific printer and sort them. Each entry shows the date and time the print started and the current state, the name of the file and its size, a button to leave notes regarding this print job, the total printing time, and the name of the printer that was used. There is also a button that allows you to print the G-code again. On the Analytics tab, you can find detailed information regarding your prints. On the top bar, you can filter the analytics shown by a specific model or printer. You can also further filter each of the graphs by clicking the calendar icon. The analytics refresh automatically, but you can force this by clicking on the refresh button. You can find graphs for the printing time and amount of filament used the status of all the finished print jobs, the currently queued items, the print jobs success ratio, the printing mode and the material combinations.